Hey guys, Tiny Ty here on my channel. And today I am here to tell you I am eight months. Why did I do seven? <laughs> eight months on HRT, hormone, hormone replacement therapy, testosterone. And I always make a video every month because it's like a documentation to me, but also to sh show you guys on here, my friends. And I don't have a million subscribers, but I have some people who follow me on here and also my friends and just also for myself so I can look back one day and just be like, well, that's, that's what I was like eight months on D, like that's what I looked like, that's how I was at that age even. Um, I look like I'm like 15 years old. If you guys want to guess below how old I am, I'm going to tell you one thing though. I am over 18 and I don't look it, I know. Oh, and for those of you guys who are into anime, I'm not like huge, like a huge anime fan, but I have a few that I like and this one's called Tokyo Ghoul. I watched it with my friends in college and... Yeah, it was really cool. My college friends, we all watched it like on a on a Friday night or Saturday night. We would all uh, binge watch it. So yeah, Tokyo Ghoul, awesome, awesome anime. And it, for those who are wondering who this is, it's Ken Kaneki, and from his normal stage, you know, normal form, and that yeah, his cool form. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna be talking about my testosterone and the changes I've noticed. Um. Oh gosh, the lights bothering me. I don't know why. Maybe I need my glasses, but I don't. Oh yeah, if you look behind me, it's my lovely flag. My lovely flag. Um. Anyways, that kind of goes with my shirt a little bit with the color scheme today. And I got my green comfy chair here. So to start off, obviously my voice is something that's changed. Um, it's still changing. It still cracks. It still sounds crazy sometimes. But it's definitely changed. Um, if you want to look back on my one month on T video compared to now, you'll definitely notice a difference. Or even if you you look back at the video right before um, the, so this is my eight months. So if you look at back at my seven months on T, it's probably changed even more since then. I have to look back, but I'm pretty positive it has because oh, and there's my voice crack right there. Um, but if, yeah, I'm gonna kind of compare that too because now I'm just like, hmm, for a month now, did it really change much? It seems more cracky now than ever than I ever felt to being but that just means it's working so that's a good thing so um so anyway so so my voice has changed a lot uh I, pa I have hair on my face this, this is my laptop I'm actually recording off of because I stored it on my phone I gotta get more cloud and all but um so it's a little sorry if it's a little blurry but you might not be able to see the hair because I, I did shave it but it's growing in again I shaved it just to see if it'll grow in a little darker but it's definitely I've definitely been growing hair on my face. Down here, not as much, but I definitely have, like, hairs that I never had before, obviously. And up here, I definitely grew it. Um, I mean, you can't see right now, because obviously I shaved about three days ago. And, but it's growing back in. I just want to see if it'll grow in a little darker. Um, my face shape has definitely changed. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what I'm doing like this, but I think I'm just... But, like, it just feels a little different and it looks a little different i've had people comment from my co-workers from my job um that i i stopped um in august because i went to college and everything and obviously with this whole quarantine i mean not obviously some colleges might be still open but they sent me back home so i'm with my mom for a little bit and i she just moved so i have my like own little room here yeah that's a drawing i drew and i put up some drawings but i didn't have much to decorate in here since most of my stuff's in my dorm like decoration wise but i had one of my flags so Hung down here, got a TV. This isn't a room tour or anything, but yeah, the bed, fan, class schedule. That's not a TV stand, I know, but it surprisingly works. Uh, but yeah, uh, the life of a college student on quarantine here. <laughs> All my classes are through Zoom too, so it's like, oof. Um, I mean, it gives you a little break though. Hope it, I hope everybody's staying safe. For a side note, staying safe and healthy and sane in the head right now but you know doing all we can right now right enjoy things you love and just make yourself happy in these times and stay safe keep your family safe keep your friends safe if you're sick stay home but yeah you wash your hands i mean i think you guys all pretty much know that by now it's been a few months on this quarantine so nothing new that i'm saying is probably gonna phase you um so i got a haircut also yesterday so I've noticed since I got my hair cut, it's like my, I can definitely see like the change in my face because like when you shave your hair off like more, 
it's like when it was growing it's like it kind of covered part of my face so now that I shaved it again it's like I just kind of notice the change a little bit so it's like wow um my eyebrows have gotten a little thicker but I honestly get my eyebrows waxed still so I'm like hoping that'll open up eventually when the virus kind of subsides a little bit so I can get that done like oof I need to get that done so bad um, but yeah, they definitely got a little thicker, which is something I don't really like, because I don't really like my eyebrows too thick. Um, definitely the Adam's apple. I don't like this. I don't know if you can see it, but I just noticed it got bigger. And that's definitely something that's gonna, gonna happen anyway. Uh, muscle mass. Yeah, without even trying, I got more muscle in my arms. I mean, I still gotta work out a little bit to be fit, but it's like, it's definitely like bigger than it ever was. I mean, and I was really tight. I'm still tiny, so obviously, that's telling you something, right? Um, so I got hair. Like, I got a happy trail a little bit, which I kind of shaved, because I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I got leg hair, which I've had before, um, before tea and stuff, but I, like, sh would shave it off. And, but now, it just grows in so much thicker and quicker. Oh, thicker and quicker. <laughs> um... Let's see, let's see. This sounds weird, but I don't know if this is, like, a real thing that happens, but my fingernails grow even faster than ever. Like, I've noticed it. I've really noticed it more than once. I can clip them, and they grow back so quick. So, I don't think that could just be my imagination at that point. Um, but I've always had, like, longer nails even than I'm before T, so it's, like, it's growing even quicker now. It's like, jeez. Um, what else? What else? Uh, bottom growth. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, it makes me feel better and all, but obviously it's not like, I mean, I got what I was expecting in a way, but then in a way I wasn't, like I was expecting it to be a little bigger, or hoping at least, but it's definitely still bigger, and sometimes it can be a little uncomfortable in your pants, like, you have to like, kind of like, I don't know how to explain, like adjust yourself sometimes, but I mean, I definitely do like it, I don't hate it or nothing, I just, I guess expectations weren't I was having a little bit more than I should have I guess um but I'm still eight months so maybe it'll be a little bit more in the future who knows because I'm not even a gear yet so never really know um mood changes definitely I feel like I have a different mindset mindset than I did before T. like I mean I know we grow as people anyway but it's not like it changed my mind exactly but it's just kind of like like I feel like sometimes I'm a little less like, I care about people a lot, but a little less caring about certain things than I was, if that makes sense. And I'm not trying to say, like, I don't care about people. I do. But, like, sometimes just like, eh, whatever. Like, that kind of thing. And I don't know why. Maybe that's just me. Um, maybe it's just me changing as a person. Like, realizing not, not everything is so, so, like, I have to worry about every little thing, you know? Because I have anxiety to begin with, but it's more like a whatever type feeling. I don't know if that makes sense or not. Like, I don't know. You tell me. Um, what else? What else? Uh, some stuff, like, that I noticed, too, is, um, like, I don't know how to explain this one. Like, I don't know if this is just, if this is like testosterone or something with me or my medication, because I also take something called Prozac, if you guys heard of it, um, along with my hormones. And, I've been like having like a tingling in my fingers like for some reason and then like shortness of breath and stuff nothing to do with corona don't worry I've, I've got gotten tested I went to the hospital and stuff but they said they think it might have to do something with the hormones like with my levels and something with the thyroid so I don't know if anyone's ever had a problem like this where it's like like just feeling a little different health wise uh, I know it does have risk risk HTR um or sorry HRT why did I say HTR um it does have some risks involved so I don't know if maybe it hired some of my risks from my my dad's side because like you know the guy genetics um could have could have would have should have I don't know uh, what you say with that one but uh I don't know if anybody else has had any sort of experiences health wise with it um because I don't know I just have had a little bit of health issues lately nothing like major major because I went to the hospital and got it ruled out but just like little things so I don't know if anyone else has like no, has like any more health issues than what before they went on um hormone therapy um but yeah so that's really all the changes at the moment that i've really noticed um out uh acne yes definitely definitely more than i've ever had is like a woman per se like with a woman puberty um but 
it's like it's also been like really hot and hot out too so and especially with the hormones it makes you sweat more like I sweat a lot more and I have to take a little bit more showers um, than I did before so that could be part of it because it's like you're oily already from being sweaty so maybe that's part of why it does that or maybe it's just the puberty itself I honestly don't know um, one last thing I want to say is I think I'm passing a little better but like I don't know how to say this but I feel like I feel like I was expecting more changes than there are but that could also just be my genetics so maybe I was expecting more hair but some people's genetics you know it doesn't have as much hair or maybe it's because I'm eight months and some people it doesn't happen till one year I really don't know um, but yeah I'm on a medium dose of of hormones and I get it injected I was on the patches for a while but I was allergic to the adhesive in it and it was giving me like these like burn marks everywhere so then I switched about two three months about three months ago no two months ago about um to the injections and I actually noticed it kind of works quicker with the injections and I know because patches are more like um a, a, like more of a, like a gradual so that's probably why but I just noticed like when I get the shot it just kind of notice changes like like right away like within a few days I feel like I have more energy and then towards the end of the peak it's more like I'm tired because I get my shots Friday so every Friday I feel like I'm like this and then the few days after I get my shot I'm like Phew, and I feel stronger and more like energy but the patches was more gradual but this one it's like feels like I actually have more hair with this than I ever did with the patches so I mean that could be because it's over time or it could could potentially be because the patches are more gradual so it's working slower and injections are faster so i i don't know but thanks guys for watching subscribe if you guys are new i do more than just this but lately i've just been making mostly but yeah lately i've been just kind of just going with the flow of things so subscribe if you guys are new and i'll see you guys next time Lately, I've just been kind of doing, like, little videos, but, like, with the quarantine, I haven't been wanting to do other things. Like, I used to do video game stuff, but maybe I'll, maybe I'll make a collection video just for fun soon. I don't know. See you guys next time. Peace out.